Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've made any kind of video. So I am going to update you guys on what's going on. As you can see, we got a Mustang in the garage right now. This is a car I picked up for a pretty good deal. It's an 08 GT with all the options. Fully loaded besides the moonroof. Five-speed manual trans. Um, when I went to check this car out, kid said it's got... It needs a valve cover gasket. Okay. Checked it out. Started it up. Smoking like a freight train. Hardly wanted to run. You, you'd be able to rev it up two, three times. And then after that, it just... Ugh, nothing. Nothing. So, long story short, got it back to the house. Started pulling the engine apart. Back side of this valve cover here, the gasket was blown out. I said, okay. I mean, why it was smoking, though, I knew I knew immediately why it was smoking. I told the kid, hey, this was wrong with it, plain and simple. Um, make a very long story short, here is the old engine. That's the new engine. If you look here, see that piston? Let's see if I can get in closer there. Yeah. that. Melt it, right? So I'm thinking to myself, what the hell could have done that? So I started looking around and I noticed it's got braided AN fuel fittings and lines. Fuel pump consistently stays on. It's got a Kenny Bell booster pump system on it. It's got Ford Racing suspension front and rear. It's lowered. It's on aftermarket wheels. It's not a bad looking car. Believe me, I'm not a Mustang fan either. So I started pulling the engine apart. Obviously, like I said, I found out it had a melted piston. Pulled the engine out of it. Found out it had a center force racing clutch in it. That was a nice surprise. Uh, fully Full aluminum billet flywheel. And, and look how clean this motor is. Somebody had just freshly rebuilt that motor. And does anybody see this line right here? It's an oil feed line. Alright. So I started digging around. Well, I popped the trunk, looked under the spare tire cover, and there's a 78 millimeter turbo in the trunk. So somebody turboed this car, probably turned the boost up a little too high, and melted a piston. So this motor that's in here now is out of a 60,000 mile uh, 09 GT. And as you can tell, we've got a cylinder head off of it. It was supposed to be a good motor. I didn't hear it run, but for the price I paid for it, I didn't care. It's 400 bucks. So we started it up and it ran great. First startup video, amazing. Smoked like typical, you know. Um, which I'll actually put that first startup video here. Just burning some oil off the headers. So as you can see, it fired right up. It ran good. It ran great. It sounded like it had a cam in it, or cams, plural. Uh, then it smoothed out, ran really nice. Of course, you know, tried to rev it up and it pop, pop, it was backfiring. I didn't have a serpentine belt on it, so the alternator wasn't putting out enough power to run anything. Started off, said, okay, cool. I'm going to start working on the cooling system. Got it back together. Didn't work on the cooling system yet. Something just told me to start it up one more time. Started it up one more time and the driver's side jumped 300 plus degrees out of time and bent every intake valve in the freaking head. So, see up here? Yeah, I got a spare set of three valve heads. They're actually off of that motor. I had them checked, they're fine. So I'm gonna swap a head on here. 
I so far to this motor I will be doing it's got a new water pump it'll have new uh, a new cylinder head on this side long tube headers catless full stainless steel exhaust system because the exhaust that was on it was so botched it was unreal they pieced what looked like three or four different exhaust systems together and it hung probably that far from the ground yeah let's rip that off right stupid so um long tube headers i ordered them off of ebay actually 250 270 bucks they fit flawlessly beautiful fit they look fantastic stainless steel they fit great i think i said that already um it's all around great great experience with those headers uh just to let you know people don't gripe about brand of headers the camaro has 250 dollars ebay long tube headers they went on and fit just like factory. Uh, my charger, the Hellcat or the Demon Supercharged Charger. eBay long tubes. I got 300 bucks total into long tubes and collectors. Beautiful fitment. Um, I think the only thing I had to do with those is drill out and an one hole one step bigger because it, I just wasn't comfortable with how tight the bolt was going in. I didn't want to risk cross threading it. So I drilled a hole out, made it one step bigger with a, with a step drill bit. Took me 30 seconds aside. Done. Big deal. Uh, there's the Harley. My truck. Um, the charger still needs a trans. I haven't done anything with the trans on the charger yet. Trying to wait until I figure out if I'm going to go build trans or just throw my 20,000 mile stock trans I have sitting in my shed in it. I haven't decided. Uh, Camaro is out and being tuned. Wow. Yeah, six months, seven months later. Yep. I know. Car hates me. Swear to God. Every time I go to fix it, I do something. First time, I split my finger open. Don't know if you can see that scar. Yeah doing a trans and I dropped it on my finger split my finger wide open wide open Ugh, that wasn't fun um, second time was something stupid happened with the uh, oh it wouldn't start it was a crank no start and I come to find out my Lingen Felter two-step box shorted out wouldn't allow any spark and blew fuses for the entire driver's side bank of the engine. I couldn't, no injector pulse and no spark. I'm sorry, no injector pulse on the driver's side of the engine. So, figures there, right? Finally, it gets in to be tuned. I'll have another video on that, explaining that. Once it, gets, once it got there, what exactly started happening with it, which of course figures it hates me. But my buddy Jesse, Jesse Murray, that guy has hooked me up from day one. I made a video on here. Go back a couple of episodes or a couple of uh, videos. Look up, you know, the review of Jesse Murray tuning my charger. Guy's awesome. He's always went above and beyond for me and hasn't asked for a dollar up front. Uh, even afterwards with helping me with the charger, he helped me out. Didn't ask for anything up front. Didn't ask for anything. He just said, hey, man, send me your tune. I'll help you out. Really good guy. Um... So, we'll see what's going on with the, with the Camaro here in another, another video. I'm getting started on swapping this cylinder head out. I somehow got to get my fat ass up there and get that head down. Maybe I'll use the scissor lift, I don't know. I'm fat, remember? So, I'm hoping to have this done this afternoon. Cylinder head on, engine in time, timing cover on it. Valve covers, intake, coil packs, injectors. Hit the key. It's like 4.30 on a Monday. I guess we'll see. Who knows? So, stay tuned. Uh, this video probably won't come out until tonight. For any of my subscribers, you're probably going to get a notification. Uh, it'll be dark. Because I'm going to get to this. Start filming a little bit. Uh, might jump in. 
I don't know, if I can find my tripod, I will do a hyperlapse. Um, which my tripod is always disappearing. I actually think it's in the back of the, ooh, excuse me. I actually think it's in the back of the Camaro. So, if it is, maybe I'll just duct tape my phone to the garage door or something. Who knows? So, that's where we're at with this. That's what we're doing here. Um, the Mustang is going to be for sale. It's not something I picked up to keep. Uh, the this bumper, I think it's like some kind of, I think it's like the GT500 SC style bumper or something. I don't know. California Special, GT California Special. I don't know. Um, this was on the car when I got it. I'm not sure what happened to the original bumper, but I see some damage here. Hit a deer, maybe. Who knows? Never driven this car, so we're going to see how it drives after I'm done. See how it goes. So, all right, guys. That's it. Stay tuned. Subscribe. See you later.